Hello. Welcome once again. Granddad Paris Down Home Cooking. I tell you what, friends. For those of you that have been sticking with us for a while and haven't liked and subscribed, go ahead. Take out the time. Subscribe to Granddad Paris Down Home Cooking. And guess what? Go ahead and share it too. Tell your friends, your neighbors, your brothers, your sisters, your family members how good you like this content. Yes, I said I said it. It's good. I know it's good. If I didn't think it was good, I wouldn't be here before you. But guess what? We got a treat for you today. I know it's right at Christmas time, and I know you're about to get ready to prepare that wonderful Christmas dish. But here at Granddad Pears Down Home Cooking, guess what we're here for? We're here to assist you in making those wonderful meals, those wonderful memories. So right now, what we're about to get ready to do we're going to make some down-home collard greens. You heard it right. Down-home cooking. And you can get no more down-home than collard greens. So let's go right over the ingredients. We're going to have your collards, fresh-picked collards. Uh, if, you, if you remember, I showed you how to clean them, and I showed you how to tenderize them, and, and, and put them in your Ziploc bags, and freeze them, freezing them. And the freezing process causes them to become sweet, okay? But right now, we're right at this part to actually preparing the greens. Okay, so you got your collard greens, you got your, you got your bacon, we got our turkey, we got our smoked turkey necks, we got our smoked turkey wings, and turkey legs, okay? First, before you actually put this into your greens, due to the sodium content. What we want to do is, we want to go ahead and get a pot of water and boil them, okay? We want to boil them, and not just to boil them, but in, in that pot, we're going to have our sweet onion, we're going to have our green onion, our celery, and our bell pepper, okay? That's going to go in the mix with your, with your turkey necks, and, and turkey legs, uh, turkey wings that we're going to put to accompany, uh, to accompany uh, the greens. So when we come back, that's what we're going to be putting together. I'll see you in one moment. Okay, welcome back. Granddad Paris, Down on Cooking. So what we're going to do is we're going to start first with, let's we'll start first with our bacon. I got bacon and hog jaws, okay? We're going to go ahead and just slice that up. So we're slicing up our bacon. And I believe that pot is, is ready for it. We're going to add a couple of tablespoons of our garlic infused extra virgin olive oil. Okay, the next thing we're going to add, we're going to have, add about a medium diced onion and then a medium diced bell pepper. Okay, this is the base. This is the base for your your green. You got your bacon and hog dogs. You got your 
your green bell pepper, and you got your sweet onion. The next thing that I'm going to place in there is my green onion. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do, we're going to get ready to introduce our turkey wings, turkey legs, and our uh, turkey necks to the water to get the sodium content out. And also, we're going to enhance flavor. I'm going to add, I'm going to add celery. Okay. I'm going to add green onion, green bell pepper, and largely sliced sweet onion. Okay? Next thing we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and add our, our turkey necks. Okay, the next thing we're going to add is our turkey uh, legs, our drumsticks, and, and the wing part. Okay, we're going, we're going to actually cook this uh, for approximately one hour, okay? Now, if somewhere in there, the, the broth, if you will, the liquids that in there get really cloudy, we're going to pour that off, and then we're going to put some more water in that. That's telling you that it's got a lot of sodium content in it, and that's what we're going to do. We want to draw that out, okay? So... If it gets cloudy, we're going to pour it off and then resume cooking. Now, let's take a look at the base of our Let's take a look at the base uh, of our collard greens. And what I'm calling a base is your, your basic ingredients. That would be your, your sweet onion, your green bell pepper, your green onions, uh, your, your bacon hog dog. Oh boy, that's looking simply delicious. So we're cooking that until it get, the, your, your, your onions get translucent. Okay? So we're going to cook it about mm, maybe a minute or two more. Then we're going to add the collard greens. Okay, now we're ready to add our collard greens. Okay, you remember the ones that I ziplocked uh, freezer bag and we put them in the freezer. Now we're going to pull those out and we're going to go and incorporate those. Okay, that's our first bag. Okay, our second bag. And our third bag. Okay. The greens is reduced like you see. I had three big bags of, uh, of frozen greens and that's pretty much what it reduced to. So we, in about maybe the an hour or so, we're going to add our, uh, our turkey necks and turkey legs. Okay, right now, as you can see, the water is cooking pretty low. So we're going to go ahead and take this time out to add one cup of water. 
Once the water's added, once the water's added, we're going to stir from the bottom. Okay, we return the lid to cover the pot. Now at this point, what we're really waiting on, we're waiting for the collards to become tender. And the only thing that will tenderize collards is time. So you want to add your water first, starting, starting from the bottom. Okay, returning the lid. And every once in a while, you could just get a little taste and you'll know when they become tender. Um, once the greens become tender, what do we do? That's right, number one. We add our seasoning. Our se when I say the full spectrum, that includes salt, pepper, onion salt, garlic salt, slap your mamas, uh, Tony's accessories, but that's the full spectrum, the full range of uh, granddad pear seasoning. All right, so I'm gonna see you in about, uh, I would say anywhere from, from 30 to 45 minutes. The total cooking time on this could be approximately uh, two hours, okay? We want to cook it on a medium, and you want to keep water in it, a, a small amount of water, and you want to continue to do what? Stir from the bottom. Okay. We'll be back with you in one moment. Oh, man. Now, cook down to perfection. Let's take a look at the turkey necks and turkey leg. Okay? They cook down, and let's see. Let's see how they're tender. Oh, man, look at there. Look at how they're just breaking apart. We're going to go ahead and season the greens. Okay, so about a teaspoon of salt. About a teaspoon of black pepper. Roast garlic and herb. Some garlic salt. and some Goya some Goya seasoning we're at this point we're going to go ahead and transfer the turkey wings and legs from one pot to the next. There you have it. Ooh la la. Collard greens with smoked turkey necks and smoked turkey legs and wings. Granddad Pears, Down Home Cooking. Once you add your smoked turkey necks, wings, and legs, we're going to let it simmer for about another 15 minutes. We're going to turn it off, and then we're going to push it to the back. But hey, you got it. You did it. You stayed until the end. Thank you for sharing this time with us to get that down home recipe on, on collard greens and all the, 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 the special uh, uh, ingredients that we have to go into it. Thank you for sticking around. We love you, bless you, and tune in again. Granddad Pears, Down Home Cooking.